celebrated your first anniversary. Yeah. You and what did you? That's nice. You and Dwayne. We found. You have beautiful, most people have kind of, I'll say it, kind of crappy footage of their wedding. You guys have beautiful, like, film of your wedding. Yeah. What's, and, and it's gorgeous looking. You obviously use, like, professional cameras. But what struck me the most is after the vows, most people just kiss. You two kissed and then did... Our own handshake. Your own handshake. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're familiar with, well, the NBA, the NFL, the, you know, Major League Baseball... Everyone has an elaborate handshake. Him and LeBron have, to this day, like 87 handshakes. They're like, dude, uh, 47B. And they're like, <laughs> you know. And so. That's not a handshake. Oh, it, there's, no, there's choreography. Like Debbie Allen, I think, choreographed one. I, I'm not sure. Um, I love that. So, just I also, too, like the time that it takes to, to rehearse the handshakes, oh. they could be practicing basketball. <laughs> You know. Or better yet, tug of war. <laughs> or tug of war for that yeah. matter. Exactly. That's probably why they lost at tug of war. They were all trying to high five before the competition. <laughs> They're out on the corner, you know, and then they lose. I think we have footage. Let's take a look. At the end, I was going to do that. Oh, put a little stank on it. Mm. So it's legal. Is this true that you guys, you built a sports bar in your house? Yes. I got to know about that. Yes. Well, we each got a room that we could design ourselves without the other person's input. He built a shoe vault. A shoe vault? A shoe vault, yeah. A vault that just displays all the shoes. All of his shoes. Okay. Some of his shoes. Our, our parents... What do you mean? There's other shoes in Swiss accounts? <laughs> there are in other parts of the house. There are shoes parked all over the world. <laughs> no one must ever know. <laughs> in case I have to go on the lamb. Yeah. They'll never find my other shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, his shoe it has special lighting. It's all measured perfectly for his shoes. I was like, I want a sports bar. I, I want... Uh, I want pony kegs, and I want, I want to be able to, you know, on a Saturday afternoon, I don't want to do anything but sit back, have a cold one, and watch my Nebraska Cornhuskers play. And so the whole room is, is, is an homage to basically Tom Osborne and, and uh, the, uh, my Nebraska Cornhuskers. So wait, so what else is there in there? There's obviously, there's television, there's, you got a some, bar. You got a bar. What else? What other uh, We have We there? have Galaga, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. Um, you have Ms. Pac-Man? Oh, yes. That's it's, my game. Yeah, it's the most popular thing in the house. That's my jam right there, Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> well, you and, you and Chris Bosh, he, he's addicted. Chris Bosh is addicted to Ms. Pac-Man. Yeah, he lives, he lives a few doors down, and, like, 2 a.m., is it Chris? Is, that, is it Chris Bosh? He'll be in your basement at 2 a.m.? Well, at the front door, wanting in to get on the game. And then you hear those, like, embarrassing Ms. Pac-Man... <laughs> <laughs> That's the He's most like, Damn it! <laughs> and then it's, and then you hear it start up again, and he'll be that he'll be down there for like five, six in the morning. That's pretty fun, though. Yeah. I think it'd be great to have. I, I want to come well, over and play. You gotta feed him. You know, he's seven feet tall. Like it comes with <laughs> responsibility. You can't just have Chris Bosh, you know, just, down sound like it's, <laughs> Give him a key and leave a pile of food down there. <laughs> Get some sleep. You sound like it's Jurassic Park, and you gotta. <laughs> 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 Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.